Hey friends and welcome to a new video. Today I really wanted to talk about something that is really important to our mental health and our physical health and that is how to have less stress. Stress is something that so many of us experience in our day-to-day -day lives and maybe you've even clicked on this video because you're feeling a little stressed out, a little anxious and stress is something that is really normal. It's a normal reaction of our body but we really don't want to be feeling stressed all the time because this constant stress is not healthy for our body or our minds. So today I wanted to share some tips with you guys on how to de-stress and relax more quickly. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sylvia from Catchy Cravings and I'd love to inspire you and help you master healthy eating but also healthy living and that's what my channel is about. So if you like these kind of topics, then be sure to click subscribe down below to see more awesome videos that I make. So these tips that I'm about to share with you guys are really simple tips that you can apply right away. These are tips that I find myself needing to apply quite often because I am someone that stresses out really quickly and struggles to wind down and relax. So tip number one is to arrive to your appointments five minutes earlier. To arrive early is something that is, I would say, common courtesy, it is respectful. And also this way you're just not stressing and rushing along the way. That is stress that can be avoided super easily. When you have that five minute cushion, you kind of plan for some small mishaps that might happen. Maybe you missed your bus, you need to take the next one, or you accidentally spilled coffee all over your clothes and you need to change your clothes quickly. So having that five minute cushion is really essential. And even if you do arrive earlier, you have the time to kind of collect yourself and to make sure that you're presentable before you walk into that meeting. Something that I like to do to make sure that I am a little bit early than a little bit late is to actually set my time a few minutes earlier. I think my watch is about three minutes faster than the actual time. And I just go about my day using that watch. And that way I'm a few minutes early to everything and I do not need to rush. So tip number two is to get enough sleep and sleep well. So we all know that we need about seven to nine hours of sleep at night. Uh, this is a really crucial time for our body to heal itself, for our mind to reset and to recharge for the next day coming. And not only is it important to have enough sleep, it's also important to have a good quality sleep. There's this whole, whole other video that I made about how to improve the quality of your sleep, so I'll link that in the cards for you to watch after this video. In there I have a bunch of great tips that you can also implement right away to improve the quality of your sleep and then you'll have more energy and be less stressed during your day. So tip number three is journaling. Journaling is something that I talk about almost in every second video on this channel just because I think there are so many great benefits to it. It is kind of like a, I guess, cheap form of therapy, I would say. Oftentimes we feel stressed because there is so much going on in our head. There are things that we need to do, things that we, we have done that are stressing us. And journaling really is a way to just process everything onto a piece of paper and and our brain can then check that off as processed and done and it really clears our mind if you want some tips on journaling there are so many different methods you can research out there i also did a whole video on journaling so if you want to learn about the brain dumping method that i like to do then once again, I'll link it here in the cards. You can watch it after this video. It really is something that you can't describe. You have to try it out. So try out journaling and you'll see that it works wonders. So tip number four is to not pack your schedule too tight. So many of us actually pack our schedule far too tight. We feel like there are so many things we need to get done. So we're just cramming everything into one day. And that just makes us even more stressed than we maybe previously were. So really try to plan all of your um, events and tasks with a 15 minute cushion. This way you can either take the 15 minutes as a kind of break and gather yourself, maybe relax a little, clear your mind before diving into the next task, or you can really use those 15, 15 minutes as, again, as a cushion. So in case one meeting or one task takes a tiny bit longer than you anticipated, then you're not pushing everything ahead and everything gets moved up and you're just stressing about your schedule now being completely messed up and people needing to wait for you. So try to give yourself a 15 minute cushion. If you're someone that tends to have their schedule pushed back by a lot, maybe give yourself more time, more of a cushion, maybe 20 minutes or so, but be sure you have time 
time in between tasks and meetings. Tip number five is to meditate. Meditation really is a great way for us to rewind and relax and to clear our mind. There are so many different ways of meditation, so be sure to do your research and find out which type of meditation is the right one for you or which one suits you the best. For me personally, I like to lie down on my bed on my back and to have my arms and legs slightly spread apart and concentrate on my breathing and I try to breathe in deeply and to focus on that and not think about anything else. What I also really find beneficial for those starting out on meditation are guided meditations. You can use various apps that are out there. As I said, do your research to find out which one suits you the best. Um, those meditation apps really help you to focus your thoughts on maybe your breathing or specific sounds or whatever, but just to help you not to have your mind wander. Also, don't stress out if your meditation doesn't go as planned. Sometimes we just have those days where our mind is all over the place and you can't really focus and calm and our mind is just so busy, that is fine as well. It counts that you had the intention that you sat down and tried to meditate and tried to focus your mind. Tip number six is not to procrastinate. I know this one is a obvious one, but also a hard one. Procrastination just really pushes everything back. It pushes back our task. We get closer to the deadline and the stress just builds and builds and it's a recipe for disaster. Usually we tend to procrastinate on tasks that are more difficult or more uncomfortable for us to do. And procrastination often is kind of like a habit. The trigger is often this difficult task that we need to do and the habit is um, to procrastinate, to watch videos or whatever you do to procrastinate. So my tip for that is to do the most difficult or the most dreading task right at the be beginning of the day. That way you have it out of the way, you have your procrastination out of the way and your day will just run more smoothly. Also, if you just have far too much on your plate, then be sure to delegate some of the not so important tasks to other people maybe to an assistant, to friends, to family members. Delegating sometimes is something that is rather difficult for some of us. For me personally, that is also something that I find difficult, but that is something really important that can save us a lot of stress, a lot of time that we should learn to do. Then tip number seven is not to snooze. When your alarm sounds, try to get up right away. I know that the bed is super comfy, super warm, and you just you just want to lie there and sleep a tiny bit longer but snoozing really just makes us even more tired and it's even harder to get out of bed what really helps for some are is to count down so if your alarm goes and you can't get yourself to get up then count down from five or three count down three two one and tell yourself get up now and for a lot of people that actually really helps for me personally that doesn't help. I did try that method before, but what really helps for me is to have an alarm that needs me to do a specific task. So for me, I have an alarm that needs me to solve math equations before I'm able to turn off the alarm. That really forces me and my brain to wake up, to focus on the math problem and to solve that before I can turn off the annoying alarm sound. And that is something I really suggest for those of you that are find it super difficult to get up in the morning. That has helped me a lot. There are also other methods like shaking your phone, scanning a specific barcode or product to get up. Um, I find that this is super, super helpful for me. So be sure to try out different methods and see what works for you. And then when you do get out of bed, try to drink a large glass of water. I know that's something that we hear all the time, but that helps wake up our internal self. And also we just shed so much water during the night. We really need to replenish that. Then tip number eight is to dedicate a specific time for yourself. Have some me time. And now this one is for one, yes, to reduce your stress, but also to reduce the accumulating stress, to not have you explode or overcook because you've been harboring all that stress in you. So make sure that you are recharging, even if it's only a 15 minute bath, that will, that is definitely better than nothing. But at, once again, I have a whole nother video talking about self care and me time, things like that. So I'll leave that right here as well. Tip number nine is lavender oil. Lavender has really been proven to be something that is very relaxing. Aromatherapy really has the goal of stimulating the body in specific ways through scents and lavender is kind of part of that. 
So a lot of people actually have kind of essential oil drops or sprays that they spray onto their pillow at night so they sleep better. Maybe if you feel like when you're stressed out, you can drop some lavender oil into your diffuser to help you calm yourself, maybe meditate while you do that. Just experiment with maybe different scents, but lavender really has been proven to be a scent that helps us calm our mind. So tip number 10 is my favorite tip, and that is to think about whether you will actually even remember this in a year. So oftentimes we're so stressed, up, stressed out about specific things and it ruins our day, it ruins our mood, and we might even be nasty to the people around us. Um, but what I like to think about is will I even remember this in a year? And if I won't even remember this in a year, then it's probably something quite insignificant in the bigger picture of your life. And then again, I would think that that is not worth it to ruin a day over. I know that in the moment, the problem, the anxiety, the stress feels so overwhelming, but try to look at the bigger picture. Is the stress something that you can fix straight away? Is it something that you just need to accept and move on? If, you, if there really is nothing you can do about it, then try to accept it or try to move through it. And just remember that is probably not something so big that you would even remember in a year. It's okay to feel sad, it's okay to feel stressed or worried or anxious, but just try to remember that there is a bigger picture and you will get through this season of stress and when you've gone through this you'll come out stronger so these are my tips on how to de-stress how to not have so much anxiety how to lead a better healthier mental and physical mind let me know in the comments down below if these are tips that you've never heard before or found really interesting that you're going to try I really like these tips I try to remind myself of them when I do have those stress kind of moments and I hope these tips really help you and work for you as well. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.